We're offset. Councilman Bonin. I heard Mike earlier. Oh, okay. I, 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 I am here. All right. Okay. All right, Eric, if you can start it. Okay. Now the meeting has started. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is the meeting of the Arts, Parks, Health, Education, and Neighborhoods Committee. Um, my name is Councilmember Lee. The meeting is now called to order. Today is Tuesday, November 9th, 2021, and time is 2 o'clock. Uh, Ms. Clark, can you please call the roll? Certainly, Mr. Chair. Councilmember John Lee. Present. Councilmember Mike Bonin. I am here. Councilmember Joe Buscaino. Here. You have a quorum, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, can you please state the rules and guidelines for those wishing to offer public comment at today's meeting, Mr. Clerk? Certainly, sir. Uh, members of the public who would like to offer public comment on the items listed on the agenda should call 1-669-254-5252. Again, the number is 669-254-5252. And use meeting ID number 161-368-1180. Again, the meeting ID number is 161-368-1180. Three six eight one one eight zero, and then press pound. Press pound again when prompted for participant ID. Once admitted into the meeting, press star nine to request to speak. When it is your turn to speak, an automated Zoom voice will ask you to press star six to unmute. Thank you, Mr. Villanueva. And before we continue. There's been a request uh, from uh, Councilmember Kevin DeLeon to continue item seven. Uh, we will continue that uh, to the next meeting. And uh, before we all start, I'd like to welcome our newest member of the AFN committee, Councilmember Joe Buscaino. Welcome to your first meeting with our committee. And with that, uh, Mr. King, can you, um, can you please begin public comment? Yes, Mr. Chair. For callers that wish to speak on an item or general public comment, please press star 9 on your device to request to speak. You can do that now. Callers will have one minute to speak on general public comment and a maximum of two minutes to speak on agenda items. Please keep your comments on topic and under the purview of this committee. If you do not do so, you will receive one warning from either the city attorney or the chair. If you do not immediately get back on, on topic, your time will be forfeited and we will move on to the next caller. Caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. I'd like to speak on item number four and general public comment, please. Okay, you'll have one minute for the item and one minute for general public comment. Go ahead. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm calling to oppose this ridiculous, just unbelievably ridiculous motion to arm park rangers. The parks in, in Los Angeles are full of children, uh, you know, animals like dogs, pets, and, and we're going to give guns to violent police officers who shoot people and dogs all the time. I mean, we're supposed to be reimagining public safety. Um, you know, we're talking about unarmed crisis response here, unarmed uh, traffic stops. And Joey Buckets is, is trying to put guns in park rangers' hands so they can shoot at little kids and pets. Now, I know that's not, you know, abnormal for him. He's the one person on the whole city council who voted against the settlement for 10 year olds who were forced to hit each other in an LAPD camp. But I'm hoping the rest of the people who aren't as sadistic and deranged as him will vote against this. It is so, so ridiculous that you're even considering this. And by the way, I know you don't pay any attention to public comment, but there's like hundreds and hundreds of comments against this on the city clerk site. So if you want to at least pretend you care about public input, it's very clear that the public does not want armed officers in our parks. Uh, with that, I'll move on to general public comment. Uh, I just want to reiterate again that Joey Buckets does not care about public safety whatsoever. He just wants more violence from the police. Uh, you know, Anybody who could vote against the settlement for 10 year olds forced to hit each other at an LAPD summer camp, the only member of the council who did so, clearly does not care about public safety. 
He's just there to promote the interests of LAPD and other law enforcement. He's not a serious person when it comes to public safety. He's just a disgusting, bootlicking bucket. Thank you, caller. That concludes your time. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hi, yes, I'd like to speak on item four in general public comment, please. Okay, you'll have a, one minute on the item and one minute general public comment. Go ahead. Yeah, I just want to call in and oppose item number four. I think it's utterly ridiculous that you want to arm park rangers. As the last caller mentioned, we are looking to reimagine public safety. And at a time when we're talking about, uh, you know, pushing motions forward for unarmed first responders, and to get LAPD out of traffic, why in the world are we giving guns to park rangers? Um, this is just another example of, you know, these NIMBYs and these conservatives wanting to police public space just like it was done in Echo Park, you know? Echo Park is disgusting now. There's a fence all around it. There's cops patrolling. There's hella security cameras. And now Joe Buscayano wants to give the... Uh, park rangers guns I, I think it's utterly ridiculous and if you look online on the council file there's hundreds of people opposing this and so if this motion passes all of you on this council or on on this committee are basically saying fuck you people of los angeles we don't care about your opinion uh you can flood us with hundreds of comments you can call in and give public comment and it just doesn't matter because you all uh, you know, care more about perpetuating violence on Angelino. You know, LAPD shootings are up this year. They've shot 31 people. Um, you know, they shot a dog the other day. And then when you think about parks, who, who goes to parks, families, children, people, people with, uh, with pets, last caller said, you know, there's no animals in the park or, or the park is for animals. Uh, that that's true, and it, but it's not for these animals like uh, LAPD or armed park rangers. Uh, it, it's just like utterly ridiculous. We are. Thank you, caller. That's your time. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hi, uh, my name is Denzel, and I would like to uh, make a uh, public general comment. Okay, you'll have one minute. Go ahead. Hi, Councilmember Lee, Councilmember Bonin, Councilmember Buciano. I wanted to let you know that there is maltreatment towards animals occurring at the Griffith Park Pony Rides and Petting Zoo. After investigating this business, we determined that the ponies and other animals here have been subjected to abuse for the sake of profits. There have been many instances of neglect, including not providing any water or sufficient shade to some animals in 90 plus degree weather. Even in those conditions, the ponies are not given proper breaks and are forced to walk or run around in circles in the beaming hot sun with kids on their backs. When the ponies slow down in an attempt to recover from being overworked, the workers hit or yelled at the ponies to get them to move faster. A brief look on Yelp will quickly uncover the pattern of mistreatment and neglect this business has been getting away with dating all the way back to 2016. Many people cannot believe a place like this exists in LA and say it needs to be shut down. Please do not renew this concessionary's contract and consider using this land to create something the community will actually Thank you, appreciate. caller. That concludes your time. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. My name is Elha Martyr, and I would like to give general public comment. Okay, you'll have one minute. Go ahead. Dear council members, thank you for your time today. I appreciate all that you do. I'm a practicing attorney and mother of three. I am here today because I have serious concerns about Griffith Park pony rides. The US International Equestrian Federation follows strict show restrictions based on the heat index for the horses. Heat index is temperature and humidity. The heat index may impact the health and safety of a horse. During a competition, if the heat index and weather conditions appear to be affecting the health and safety of the horses, there are strict guidelines to determine if it is necessary to stop the competition. If the U.S. and International Equestrian Federation has guidelines for their horses in high temperatures, why is it acceptable for horses to work in 90-plus conditions at Griffith Park Pony Ride with no protection against the hot sun and no oversight? 
the misters implemented don't even work as the wind blows the misters away from the horses and are ineffective. No horse should work above 90 degrees, yet these horses are pushed in these hot weather conditions. I'm very Thank you, caller. That's your time. Thank you for calling in. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Yes, I'd like to speak on item four and general public comment. Okay, you'll have one minute for each. Go ahead. Thank you. I agree with the previous speakers that uh, Griffith Park Pony Rides should be ended. And I also agree with the previous speakers that the city of Los Angeles should not arm park rangers with guns. It is unnecessary. It is unacceptable. People have spoken. We want less armed response. We want more trained social workers. As much as uh, we have police officers right now um, shooting people uh, who are unarmed without consequences, we should not be expanding that to park rangers. Even if police officers are not trained enough, as we know in de-escalation, park rangers are trained even less than that. that that's not their job. And right now, park rangers have the ability to call LAPD for backup if there is a need for armed response. Moreover, this increases the city's potential liability. It increases costs to city taxpayers to arm and train park rangers. Don't do it. Save the taxpayers money. I live in the San Fernando Valley. I'm a constituent of Council Member Paul Caretz. And if district lines are changed, I'll probably be a constituent of Council Member Bob Bluewinfield. I ask both of them, please don't support this proposal. Protect the taxpayers, protect the public, protect kids in parks. Don't arm park rangers. Thank you. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. My name is Melina Abdullah, and I'd like to speak to items four and general public comment. Okay, you'll have one minute for each. Go ahead. So I want to echo those who are calling in and speaking on general public comment about the treatment of horses at Griffith Park. And these should be the kind of items that this committee is considering, right? What do parks look like? What does recreation feel like? How are animals and children and families using parks? This committee should not be considering whether or not people should be roaming parks with guns because parks are not meant for people to be roaming the parks with guns, whether they have ranger in front of their names or not. This is an absolutely ridiculous consideration, but speaks volumes to the kind of person Joe Buscaino is. We know he's a cop, but cops, even if you believe in them, don't belong in our parks. I'm a mother of three children. I go to parks so that we can get away from the violence of society. I'm a black mother of three black children who see guns on officers as threats to their lives. And so we must, we're asking you to vote no on this um, motion. Park rangers should not be armed. We want to preserve our parks for recreation, for exhalation, for being out in nature, not for the terrorism that is needed out by people with guns, especially on black people. So Black Lives Matter is saying vote no on this motion. As a resident uh, constituent of the 10th district, you are all now um, asked to represent my interests since I don't have a council member that I can lobby. I need you to vote no on this motion. We don't want to arm park rangers. Thank you, caller. That concludes your time. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Yes, thank you. Um, I'd like to speak on all items and general public comment, please. 
Okay, you'll have two minutes for the items and one minute for general public comment. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, Council Member Bonin, I know that you fight for real solutions and stand up for what's right. Thank you so much for your ongoing fight. My name is Michael Fujimori. I'm a Los Angeles constituent, and I wanted to read the contract terms of the current concessionaire. Per the contract, it states that during the term of the agreement, the premises should not be used in violation of any present or future law, rules, and regulations, and that safety or welfare or operation must be considered. The current concessionaire at the uh, Griffith Park Pony Rides has not followed any of these guidelines as it continues to overwork the horses and ponies, not provide the animals with protection against elements, and not consider the welfare of the children who visit the park. I have witnessed firsthand the saddle continuing to slip off these horses when the workers chase the horses and ponies to scare them for seven hours a day. I ask you respectfully today, please ensure the protection of our children and that you consider not renewing this concessionaire contract, have, having the animals go to a sanctuary and replacing the park with go-karts or mechanical horses. Thank you so much. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. This is Michelle Payne, resident of District 14, speaking in item four. Okay, you'll have one minute. Go ahead. Hi there. Um, I'm calling to say we don't need more guns in our parks. This is dangerous and the emphasis of public safety. Parks should be safe for everyone and gu guns don't keep us safe. We need programs. We should be funding universal needs, pandemic recovery, built environment, and reimagining public safety. Staff funding the over-militarization of law enforcement. Black, this is the on motion. Thanks for your time. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hi, this is G. Young, Carolyn Park, and uh, CD13. Which items would you like to speak on? Oh, speaking on item four. Okay, you'll have one minute. Go ahead. Uh, I am a governing board member on the Silver Lake Neighborhood Council. We submitted a community impact statement against uh, this motion because we do not need policing in parks that are supposed to be a refuge. Um, and people need to be able to uh, feel safe and unwind. And uh, the presence of police with guns don't allow for that. And in a time when mental, a lot of people are having mental health issues, we need the parks to, to stay, safe, stay safe refuges for people. Uh, the national parks are having issues right now with uh, law enforcement being in the parks, and, and they have lawsuits. We don't need that. We do not need more lawsuits. Um, so please vote against. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hello, I'd like to give a general public comment and comment on item four. Okay, you'll have one minute for each. Go ahead. Uh, when Angelinos were marching in the streets, uh, hundreds of thousands of people were calling for reimagining public safety and to defund the police. This is the exact opposite of what it means to reimagine public safety. This is a lazy, tired, excuse to put more guns in the hands of law enforcement officers who will disproportionately target, shoot, and kill poor people and people of color. And we know that armed law enforcement are already disproportionately shooting these people. If you vote for this, you will be voting for the deaths of more black people. So please vote no on item four. Thank you. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hello, my name's Akili, and I'm calling. I want to speak to uh, item uh, four. 
Okay, you'll have one minute. Go ahead. This is an absurd idea to put uh, guns uh, in, in the park ranges. They are there for a different reason, for a different con set of conditions. This is a park. These are parks. These are not, uh, you know, uh, the Wild West. What are we thinking? We have been demanding uh, much more resources for unarmed, you know, uh, crisis programs. We have been demanding uh, and defunding the police so that they don't engage with people. You don't put armed uh, folks in the park where children are. You don't do that. And, this, and, and there's no reason why you would do that. There's nothing that calls for it. Ultimately, what you're going to wind up doing, which is why I and others have opposed this, is put guns in the hands of people who will be harassing uh, people who don't have homes, who will be harassing suspects, who will be harassing people who they think are problematic. Thank you, caller. That concludes don't your time. This. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hello, my name is Donna Crudwig, and I'd like to leave general comment. Okay, um, one minute, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, Council Member Buscayano, thank you for fighting for equal rights and pay for laborers at the Port of Los Angeles. I wanted to express to you that consumer fraud is occurring at Griffith Park Pony Rides and Petting Zoo. This facility states on their website that, quote, our ponies always have access to plenty of fresh water, both in the ring and in their corrals. And, quote, we never hit or abuse our ponies. However, I have video footage of the workers hitting the horses and pushing a pony in the middle of a ride when the pony stops. Also, the horses and ponies on the turnstile were not provided a drop of water in almost seven hours in 90 degree weather. And when a parent asked the worker in the petting zoo where the water was located, the worker responded, quote, these animals don't drink water. These current events are very concerning. I ask you kindly to consider not renewing this concessionaire's contract, having the animals go to a sanctuary, and replacing the park with go-karts or mechanical horses. Thank you very much for your time and consideration. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Yes, this is Andy, and I would like to speak on item four. Okay, you'll have one minute. Go ahead. I just want to submit my comments uh, regarding arming park rangers, uh, which is an absurd idea. Um, we have seen park rangers already uh, abuse unhoused people just recently I had Echo Park with an unhoused person uh, and arming them would just be catastrophic for our communities. Um, it is completely just out of the park idea here uh, after we have the community has demanded that we defund the police and fund community resources that prevent actually prevent crime, uh, which is resources for the community. Uh, again, I'd like to submit my comment opposing this absurd idea, and I hope that everyone on this committee votes no. Thank you, caller. That concludes your time. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hi there, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Hi there, uh, my name is Maybe a Girl. Um, my pronouns are she, her, they, them. I'm also a member of the Silver Lake Neighborhood Council. And I wanted to speak on items number four and general public comment. Okay, you'll have one minute for each. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, so one of my colleagues already called in from the Silver Lake Neighborhood Council, but I'm not sure if our council members actually read the community impact statements that are submitted. So I just wanted to read the Silver Lake Neighborhood Council's community impact statement. Uh, dear council members, the Silver Lake Neighborhood Council is opposed to, to Council Member Joe Buscayano's motion to arm park rangers. 
there is a consensus forming citywide that we need less police styling, uh, less police style patrolling and armed officers and more outreach services. As a community that's only steps away from Griffith Park, we are compelled to express our opposition to arming park rangers. We recognize the importance of safety to park rangers and others, but we believe arming them would further put our unhoused neighbors residing in Griffith Park and other city parks at risk of injury or death. Black Angelinos account for less than 10% of the overall city population, yet account for about 40% of the city's unhoused population. And as we've seen, Black Angelinos are disproportionately the victims of police brutality. We believe the city should instead deploy unarmed outreach workers to assist unhoused Angelinos instead of exacerbating fear of them in our public parks. We ask you to join us in opposing this motion. Thank you. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hello, my name is Lisa Redmond. I live in CD 11 and I'd like to speak on number four, please. Okay, you'll have one minute, go ahead. Thank you. I, like many of the other people calling in today, are calling to oppose um, against this idea to arm park rangers. Uh, you know, even the LA Times put out an editorial against it today, and not because it's coming before the full council. It's so egregious, this idea, that they did an editorial against this idea for a simple committee motion. That alone says something there. Um, as many of my other fellow callers said who are opposing this, it's not reimagining public safety. And to give park rangers a gun is a giant slippery slope. You know, what's next? Do the Department of Transportation people that write tickets want to have armed guns because somebody might be unhappy about getting a ticket? What about uh, firefighters? They go into dangerous situations too. This is what the police are for. They're the ones that have the guns, not people that Thank have Thank you, caller. That concludes your time. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Call over the last four digits, 2648. If you can hear me, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hello, my name is Sophia Garcia. I'm with the Invest in Youth Coalition and I'd like to speak on item number one. Okay, you'll have one minute to speak on the item. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Um, yes, yeah, so again, Sophia Garcia. Um, from City 14 with the Mess and Youth Coalition. Um, I just want to say that as a youth from LA, I've seen firsthand the lack of investment in my community. So I support item number one to move $300,000 from the city's um, unincorporated fund into the Youth Development Department to truly create a comprehensive three-year strategic plan. Um, and I also believe that any third party contractors hired should have a history of youth and community engagement. So please continue prioritizing LA youth by ensuring long term investment and a consistent funding stream so that the YDD is fully functional and it's actually able to meet the real needs of young Angelinos. Thank you so much. Thank you, caller. Next caller. Please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hi, my name is Danielle. Hi, my name is Danielle Colker. I'll be speaking on item four. Okay, you'll have one minute. Go ahead. I'm calling because I feel really, really scared at the idea of park rangers walking around with guns. I feel scared for myself and I'm white and I feel really scared for my unhoused neighbors and my black and brown neighbors because that's fucking terrifying. Um, 
it's kind of a huge fuck you to all of us who spent like hours and days and weeks calling and marching in the streets asking you to disarm our police and reimagine public safety and invest in real solutions to the issues that we face in our communities. Um, this is telling us like literally fuck you. We don't care about a thing you have to say. We're just going to do whatever the hell we want and like kill you all. So that's really terrifying. Please don't put park rangers with guns. Nobody wants that. Nobody needs that. That's not helping anybody. Um, yeah, thanks. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hi there, um, my name is Erin. I'm a resident of Glasshall Park. Um, I was calling about item number four in general public comment. Okay, you'll have one minute for each, go ahead. Uh, thank you. Um, like many have said in this call, I'm frankly appalled at the fact that this arming of park rangers is even being brought up in a meeting like this. Um, you know, it's, it's incredibly disappointing. I think everyone knows what residents of Los Angeles want, which is community uh, alternatives to policing, not expanded policing by giving park rangers guns. Like many people have said, children are in parks, dogs are in parks, families. There's no need to have extra guns in parks. It's just going to create danger for me, my family, my neighbors, and my community. I'm, I'm astonished that Joe Buscaino has brought this to the council. It's, it's frankly really upsetting. And the fact that Gil Cidio seconded it, it just, it, it kind of blows my mind. Um, I really hope you'll do the right thing and not pass this and actually listen to your constituents for one of the first times um, and not pass anything resembling this ever again in the future. Thank you. I yield the rest of my time. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Uh, my name is Tommy. I'd like to speak on item four in general public comment. Okay, you'll have one minute for each. Go ahead. So I'm calling to oppose this motion to arm the park rangers. Um, I want to share a few stories with just how unhinged Lo Sorelli, a 35-year veteran of Rampart, uh, a, a cop in an organization full of cops, just how unhinged these cops are when they come into our police and they try to interact with the community. Uh, Lo Sorelli himself has sent emails advocating for the removal of bathrooms from parks. We need more bathrooms. We don't even have fucking bathrooms in the parks. And this is what you're focused on? We don't have charging stations, water fountains, trash cans, anything. Anything other than the militarization of our sanctuary space. Los Sorelli and his fucking gang of rangers uh, arrested uh, an unhoused man in Echo Park Lake after trying to steal his table. They stole his table. He got upset. And so they fucking arrested him, threw him on the ground, took him to jail, and gave him a $30,000 bail for trumped up charges on battery on an officer and then later dropped, of course, because it was fucking bullshit. That's the kind of unhinged people you are trying to give guns. What do you think they would do to Devon in that situation if they had guns? You are literally going to kill people by arming our rangers. These rangers are out of fucking control. They have no idea what de-escalation means. Koretz thinks he's all worried about Oh, ranger safety liability. What about all the lawsuits that are going to show up when rangers start murdering people, start murdering black, poor, and unhoused people in our parks? Militarizing our parks doesn't keep us safe. Rangers and police don't keep us safe. Criminalizing people doesn't keep us safe. We need care, oh, that not your time. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hello, my name is Alvia Sedano, Council Member Lee, Council Member Bonin, Council Member Buscaino, um, and as well as um, we all know, animal issues are human issues. We have Which items would you like to speak on? Oh, I'm sorry, um, general comment. Okay, go ahead. 
Go ahead, you'll have one minute. Okay. Um, when we have, you know, we have, um, as animal issues are human issues, and um, we have grown men chasing after horses, clapping its hands, scaring the horses, hitting the horse, forcing the horse to work, pushing the pony when she stops in the middle of the ride while she's wanting to take a break. I ask you today, what kind of lesson are we teaching our children? Adult modeling is crucial in the development of a child and teaching them to be kind to animals should be one of them. I have a deep concern for the children who visit Griffith Park and Pony Ride and Petting Zoo because we are modeling our future generations to be unkind to animals. When individuals are unkind to animals, they will indefinitely be unkind to humans. I ask you kindly and respectfully to not renew their contract. Have the Thank you, caller. That concludes your time. Worry. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Hello, you my name is Karen. I'm calling. Yes, I would like to speak on item four and I'd also like to do public comment. Okay, you'll have one minute for each. Go ahead. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm here to speak on item four to definitely oppose the um, continuous arming of folks that don't need these arms. We don't need any more guns, especially in the parks. I mean, we've had national events happen. We just had, you know, major shootings. And I don't understand how you're the elected officials claiming you care about the people and yet you're continuing to pass these types of policies. Um, it's extremely disappointing, but I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised because this council has a lot of failed leadership, especially in this committee. And some of you have worked with people that have gone to the FBI now. They've taken three people. So hopefully they'll get more of you because you really have sold the city out to your special interests. Do not arm people that are in the parks. Do not arm the park rangers. That makes no sense. But it makes sense for your pockets. That's why you continue to do this. So you need to take a look in the mirror and make sure you don't endanger our children's lives because that is just extremely upsetting and I hope that your opponents win and that you are not reelected when your elections come up because you are an extreme disappointment and an example of failed leadership. My general public comment is that please stop. Please stop with your special interests. Please stop with selling out the city you're supposed to be overseeing the safety of everyone. And like many people have shared here today, there have been protests, there have been extreme calls for reform and change. And yet you continue to find loopholes and ways to continue getting away with your special interests because that money is coming from those sources. You're getting money from the police. You're getting money from people who, who do want guns on these police, police or the park range. Thank you, caller. That concludes your time. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Next caller, please state your name and which item you'd like to speak on. Okay, we will move on. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hi, this is Karen again. Did you have more time? I just want to make sure. Oh, my mistake. Thank you. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Yeah, hello. <clears throat> My name is Peter Quinn. I'd like to speak on item four and general public comment. Okay, you'll have one minute for each. Go ahead. Yeah, um, I'd like to start by listing off the typical duties performed by Los Angeles City Park Rangers. Patrolling the parks and surrounding areas and responding to calls for assistance from the public, providing public assistance, 
enforcing park ordinances and educating patrons regarding park rules and regulations, providing emergency services, i.e. firefighting and search and rescue, conducting nature hikes for school children, providing interpretive education programs at park facilities citywide. None of those things need a gun. And it is absolutely appalling and disgusting that Joe Buscaino is pushing for more guns to be in our city, especially in some of the few open and accessible public spaces. And I know that people like Mr. Buscaino would like those places to be not public and inaccessible uh, to many people in this city. Um, but the simple fact is that he is wrong. Um, and his attempt to put more guns and more violence and more danger and at the end of the day, more death into the city of Los Angeles uh, is absolutely appalling. Um, and I encourage you all uh, to oppose it. Um, I hope uh, Councilmember Bonin uh, has the sense to do that. Uh, I don't trust Councilmember Lee, uh, but I don't think anybody can trust Councilmember Lee uh, who has read uh, the FBI wiretaps uh, of his former boss um, and has any understanding of the corruption. Uh, it's actually quite remarkable that Councilmember Lee remains uh, chair of any committee uh, or even on the city council at this point. Um, but just, just stop it. Stop it, Joe. You are, you are an absolute monster of a human being. Uh, you don't deserve the public trust and the office that you have. Um, and I hope that uh, when you are thoroughly beaten in the election for mayor, uh, you reflect upon it and decide to remove yourself from public office entirely. Uh, you are certainly an embarrassment to the city of Los Angeles uh, and to yourself on a... Thank you, caller. That concludes your time. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hi, hello. This is Zion Estrada from CD1, and I'd like to speak on comment on four and public comment. Okay, you'll have one minute for each. Go ahead. Thank you. So in regards to item number four, I think it's absolutely preposterous and insane to be suggesting that we arm our park rangers. Uh, this is specifically gear, geared towards my city council member, Joe Cedillo. Uh, you know exactly what you're doing. This is a conscious decision to attack the unhoused community and cause violent harms and, you know, the worst case scenario, death upon people of color, specifically the black community. So blood will be on your hands if you all don't listen to the constituents that have asked for this to be voted on as a no. Um, in regards to our park rangers, uh, I think that their job is to take care of our park, to take care of the natural resources of parks, and to actually help people feel safe. Um, we know that the cost and the budget that we actually need and deserve should go to the bathroom, should go to access to water, should go to the upkeep of our spaces to help with our larger public health issues of depression and isolation that we've all had a heightened experience of during this past COVID-19. So I would urge all of you to vote no on item number four, to not arm our park rangers. If you do this, you're gonna be held 100% responsible and accountable for any of the violent offenses that these park rangers will cause on your community. And, you know, we're watching you. Thank you. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Jordan Kurtzman. Which items would you like to speak on? Uh, Council District 13. Sorry. From Council District 13, I'd like to speak on um, item number four. Okay, you'll have one minute. Go ahead. Uh, I think it's absolutely absurd that you would give park rangers guns. I think the last thing we need is more guns and more hands, especially in parks. I don't think that this has anything to do with making parks safer. I think this is a thinly veiled effort to make uh, parks less safe for people, for certain people, and to give people who are angry at unhoused individuals 
um, sort of a political cudgel and um, sense of superiority. This is a terrible idea. This has nothing to do with public safety. Park rangers do not have enough training. This is not what the most people in LA want. I do not understand what this is coming from other than certain people want to harass the unhoused. Um, please do not give park rangers guns. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hi, my name is Karina. I'd like to speak on item number four in general public comment. You'll have one minute for each. For each. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you. I'm a Los Angeles County resident and a member of Black Lives Matter Los Angeles, and I'm calling in to urge you to reject this motion to allow park rangers to be armed while on duty. Like that, that needs to be explained. Why would we allow park rangers to be armed while on duty? Nobody is asking for that. Nobody needs that. When I see a park ranger and I see that they're unarmed, my assumption is that they have knowledge and expertise and skills you know, to, to be doing the jobs that they're doing. We do not need to be militarizing our green spaces. That's what this motion is doing. So I, I urge you to not move in the direction of militarizing every public space that we have. Why on earth would we militarize green spaces? Those, those two things are antithetical to each other. This motion says for the protection of the public. The public does not feel protected by law enforcement and their guns. That's what everyone is calling in and saying. So that's, that's disingenuous. And for the safety of all law enforcement officers in the city, that's bullshit, Buscano. That's bullshit. No, law enforcement officers do not need to be protected against what, unarmed civilians, armed, unarmed citizens? What the hell are you afraid of? If you're afraid, you shouldn't be in your fucking job. It makes absolutely no sense. This motion is ridiculous. It's bullshit. I'm appalled. So many of us are appalled. If you vote for this, this, it is an absolute move in the wrong direction. We are urging you to vote no, to vote no on this. Um, it is an excuse, I will say, when we are talking about reimagining public safety, arming people is an excuse to be terrible at your job. We need unarmed crisis intervention. And so we need people who have expertise and who are equipped with knowledge and expertise to do their job. Putting guns in their hands is an excuse not to be educated. Thank you, to caller. That concludes expertise. your time. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hello, my name is Lyndon Willis. I would like to speak on item four and general public comment. Okay, you'll have one minute for each. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm a resident of District 12. Um, I'm calling to speak uh, against the motion to allow uh, park rangers to be armed. Um, I'm with everybody who has spoken today and also everybody who has spoken in, you know, every single time that there is something open to public comment about adding more police, adding more arms for police, adding more militarization of police. Every single time that I call in, there are dozens, if not, you know, like more people calling in against these kinds of motions. There are literally hundreds of public comments that are against this motion currently. Uh, I do not understand city council continuing to like introduce and vote on motions like this that would increase arming police, arming public rangers. I find that completely unnecessary and I find it like completely against the public opinion that everybody has been speaking for. Um, I also agree with the last speaker who said that we don't need to arm, you know, we don't need to militarize every single public space. We don't need people with guns in every single public space in our city. I don't think that like the public sentiment given everybody who has spoken and commented like finds that that's something that makes our city safer. So please vote against this motion to arm the public rangers. Thank you and I yield the rest of my time. Thank you caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Caller, are you there? Please state your name and which item Hello. you speak on. Yes. Uh, yes, my name is Craig. I'd like to speak in general comment and on item number four. Okay, you'll have one minute for each. Go ahead. Yes, I'd like to note that I'm a former uh, wilderness ranger with a government agency, and so I'm quite familiar with both the challenges and the mission of the, the, the ranger um, uh, culture and, and, 
expectation within the community. As a result of this, and as a result of items that I had seen of, of ranger behavior in Griffith Park over several years, and of LA Times previous coverage of some of the abuses that they had uncovered, I became involved in several law cases uh, with prosecutions for some of the, the behaviors that, that the uh, rangers tried to prosecute, and as a result of my involvement, those cases were dropped. So I understand a lot of what this is behind this. And so it, during that time, there was a motion similar to this one to arm rangers, and it was wisely uh, it, abandoned because of the potential liability and the potential misuse of rangers who are not fully trained. They're not. Rangers are not trained in this mission. They're trained in a very different mission. And so we see this coming up again today. And unfortunately, the same uh, efforts for um, creating more wannabe police are in, in action today. And it is not the right choice. And it needs to be put to bed once and for all. The LA Times editorial today, which I fortunately cut to have read, is absolutely spot on. And hopefully this can be the last time we have to waste our time trying to fight this bad idea. Rangers are there for one job. Police are there for a different job. They are not the same. They should not be confused with each other. Thank you very much. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hello, my name is Steve. I would like to speak on item number four in public comments. Okay, you'll have one minute for each. Go ahead. Hello. Uh, contrary to most of the callers, I do believe the park rangers should be armed. Unfortunately, our parks should be meant for the public use, but slowly they've been becoming a haven for unhoused people, which uh, there's a lot of crime that is involved there. Unfortunately, these people that live in the parks are heavy drug users, and somebody has to be selling on these drugs. As we've seen in uh, Venice Beach, there's been multiple shootings at Venice Beach and multiple acts of crime amongst each other. If the park rangers would hope to maintain the peace in these parks, they're going to go up against these criminals that have weapons. And I don't see how people overlook this and just say, oh, they're going to be killing people. No, and that they don't have training. Um, park rangers are peace officers as well, and they go to LEPD Academy just like every other police officer. So <laughs> the motion or the idea that they shouldn't be armed is very unrealistic to what's going on in our parks. For example, Echo Park is a beautiful place now for residents to go enjoy and they don't have to worry about their kids stepping on a needle so much. They don't have to worry about their kids being around a unhoused person that is doing drugs because it's fenced up now. <laughs> so I am one of the only residents that's for, apparently, the Rangers being armed. It's realistic. They're peace officers as well, just like the, the police are, and they should have the opportunity to maintain themselves safe and to keep our parks safe from these unhoused residents that are really just using drugs in the park. Thank you, caller. That concludes your time. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hi, this is Kim. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, great. Um, I would like to speak on item number four and general public comment. Okay, you'll have one minute for each. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I am appalled that this is motions is even being brought up. I think that the, um, the idea that park rangers are the same as police is exactly the reason why we don't want them to have guns. NY, the NY, our LAPD officers. They actually have killed so many residents because of guns, because they carry guns, because they're in neighborhoods. They're constantly in black and brown neighborhoods, and they're and they the last thing they know how to do is de-escalate, which is what they're supposed to do. They escalate every situation. So if they're trained, if park rangers are trained, 
the same way that LAPD is trained, then we really don't want them to have guns. That's an argument for no guns. So, no, they should not have guns. They should know how to do their job, as another caller was saying, and their job is not to be the police. The job is for people to feel safe, and nobody that I know of feels safe around guns. All that is doing, exactly as some of the other callers have said, is create more danger for the health of community, which is comprised mostly of black and brown people. And with the laws that have been passed, that nobody can stand there or have a tent for in certain areas, we're just pushing them farther and farther away. And where do you think they're going to go? We need to provide houses for people that need them, and we're not doing that. And arming park rangers is going to create more deaths of black and brown people. And no one is going to feel safe in the park anymore. If, if, I, if, I'm, if I take my family there and I'm worried that some, someone is walking around with a gun, with my black family, I'm going to be concerned that my black son is going to be shot for just wandering around in the park. So Thank you, caller. That concludes your time. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hello? Yes, please state your name and which item items you'd like to speak on. Hi, uh, my name is Jacob and I'd like to speak on general comment and item four. Okay, you'll have one minute for each. Go ahead. All right. I just want to say that I think it's ridiculous that this motion is even moving forward. This motion really should have been left in like early 2020 when it was initially proposed. And the only reason it's being brought up right now, let's be real, is because Joe Boscano is running for mayor and is desperately fishing for more police union money. The idea that park rangers need to be armed is absurd. The idea that it makes are parks any safer is just defies logic. The it's completely contrary to the discussions we in city council have been having about reimagining public safety. It's clear that Boscano's answer to literally every problem in this city is more guns, more police officers. And if we don't have more police officers, let's make another agency police officers. It's beyond absurd and if the rest of this council has any integrity, then there's no reason this count, this motion should even be moving forward. Uh, that's it. I'm, I'm yielding the rest of my time. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Lex Roman, um, item four and general public comment. Okay, you'll have one minute for each. Go ahead. I'm calling in to oppose arming the park rangers. I don't know why we even have to call in and tell you this. Like, what is happening at city council? You're building this terrifying police state. All of us are terrified. Millions of us are demanding that you defund the police and reimagine public safety. Armed officers kill people. They kill people every day. This is a racist motion, and it can't happen. Not only are you fencing off parks for the public, but now you're going to arm park rangers? What the hell is going on? Who are you serving? It's not us. It's not us. It's not your residents. Also, want to second the comments about Joe Lozzarelli. He harasses everyone, and he needs to be fired now. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hello? Yes, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Sheila, item number four. Okay, you'll have one minute, go ahead. I'm once again calling like uh, the majority of other people who have called to say that this motion should not pass. It makes no sense to give park rangers a gun. This is further militarizing the entire city. This is furthering the police state. And it's absolutely unacceptable that you think that this is okay. It is unacceptable that you think that this should even be on an agenda. This motion should have died and it should not have even been brought up. And the fact that 
this many people are having to call you and tell you that it should not pass should speak volumes as to where you should land on this issue. And you need to search deep in your soul to make sure that you listen to the residents and that you listen to logic and that you listen to what is right and necessary and what is just. And it is not just to put armed rangers in a park where that more. Thank you, caller. That concludes your time. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Okay, we'll move on to the next caller. Caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Uh, yes, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Which items would you like to speak on? Uh, yes, my name is Logan Rapp, and I'd like to speak on item four and general public comment. Okay, one minute for each. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, first of all, it's pretty funny that reimagining public safety kind of looks like the same dumb stuff we've done for decades, which is more guns in places they don't belong. This puts us in danger and does nothing for public safety and just plays into the desires of insecure men. Secondly, this is a serious liability issue. You and I both know that meatheads and cowboys who want the public use of firearms and protection of law covering for them look for the jobs that allow them to use guns. All that will happen by arming park rangers is that we will be paying out lawsuits for misconduct just as much as we currently do with the LAPD. And where's that money going to come from? From whose pocket will we be paying out these settlements? Will it be the general fund? Even from a moderate, pragmatic standpoint, this is asinine and financially wasteful. It's pretty embarrassing for Council Member Buscaino to present this half-baked idea that reads like a teenage gamer's Instagram. Vote this down, please. Don't indulge his fake macho fantasies and start making him act like an adult. And lastly, to the previous caller named Steve, you should probably announce which police game you're in before making comment because we can all tell you're a cop. Thank you for your time. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hello? Yes, caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Michelle, and I would like to give public comment on item number one. Oh, okay, you'll have one minute. Go ahead. Thank you. Hi, my name is Michelle, and I am calling in from Council District 14, and I am with the Investing Youth Coalition. As a young person from Los Angeles who has firsthand seen the lack of investment in my community, I support item number one, because moving the 300K into the youth development department would allow the department to create a fully comprehensive three-year strategic plan. But we do ask that any third-party contractor that's hired to definitely have a history in youth and community engagement and that they ensure that youth and community are intentionally included in the three-year strategic plan. We also ask for the committee to continue prioritizing LA youth by ensuring that long-term investment is consistent with funding streams for the youth development department to be able to fully function and be able to meet the needs of young people. And we ask that this um, three-year strategic plan honors and adopts the Youth Development Task Force report that was created because this report was created by young people, organizations, and community members. And I also just wanted to give a shout out to the folks who are raising their concerns for item number four. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, caller. That concludes your time. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hi, uh, my name is Jamie Penn. My pronouns are she, her. I'd like to make a general public comment and speak on item number four. Okay, you'll have one minute for each. Go ahead. Thank you so much. Um, I am also the executive vice president for the Wilshire Center Koreatown Neighborhood Council, although I am calling on my own personal accord. Um, I just, I want to speak on item four and how abhorrent it is that this is back. As other previous callers have stated, this is not the first time this item has come up. 
And per L.A. Council's usual policy of punt the ball and hoping we'll forget about it, this has come back up. Um, it's completely against the entire um, reimagining of public safety that we have been campaigning for since the first release of the People's Budget Report, um, which was all the way back um, in May 25th of 2021 was the first edition of the report release. But I remember the survey and the conversation and the first discussions happening back in as early as like back in 2020. I, I don't understand why this keeps being revisited. We don't want resources used to police the community. That's not what they're for. Um, we just had a, a record. Well, it, it, it's a record, which is sad that it's a record because it's only $89 million that was slated to pay, pay for the police services that'll now go to anti-gang initiatives, universal income programs, homelessness services, education, job initiatives, more. We need more of that. We just spent the past couple of years and during a pandemic. What we need is for you to serve us. We don't need to protect parks. What we need is resources for people so they don't have to live in parks. It's really not that hard to understand. And if you'll just listen to the millions of constituents, if you'll read the hundreds of comments posted on this council file, if you'll for once do the right thing and just listen to what people actually want. Thank you, caller. That concludes your time. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Yes, this is Pete White with the Los Angeles Community Action Network. I would like to speak on item four and general public comment. Okay, you'll have one minute for each. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you. Um, I think it's bizarre in a city that promotes itself as a sanctuary city that it in fact erects borders and fences off public space, creating its own brand of apartheid. Here in the city of Los Angeles, the city of the angels, I think it's absurd that in the same city, that rhetorically supports gun control, we're simultaneously trying to arm up every public servant possible. Joe Buscaino wants to arm park rangers. Park rangers, where do you go from here? You start with park rangers, the next is librarians. This is not a Los Angeles that we are proud to fight for, are proud to live in. The leadership is bankrupt currently. I say, we say, the Community Action Network says, vote no on the motion once again to arm park rangers and continue to defund the police and refund the community. Thank you. I Thank yield the rest of Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hello? Hi, good afternoon. My name is Lionel Mares. I'm calling from CD6. I'd like to make a um, comment on item four and general public comment, please. Okay, Okay. you'll have one minute for each. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, for item four, I think that many people are traumatized with the law enforcement using firearms to um, shoot um, people who have experience mental health crisis, psychiatric crisis, or unhoused community. I understand why they're against arming park rangers. I understand why, because I read a lot. And, and I think at this time, we should postpone it and not arm park rangers. We have to have more sociological, criminological studies, research on this issue. Um, we don't want to jump the gun and, and suffer the unintended consequences. So we should postpone it or put it on hold for now. So I don't think that at this time, we should arm park range. But I understand the safety issue. I understand. I completely understand both sides. I understand everybody's side. From a sociological perspective, I understand. Moving on to item, I mean, general public comment, please. Yes, go ahead. Uh, from, a general, from a general public comment, I'd like to, because I'm a frequent hiker at Griffith Park, and I noticed that, the, for example, the restroom at the Ferndale Street, 
is needs improvement and there's no doors to provide privacy so i urge that your committee please increase funding to repair some of the restroom facilities at, at griffith park because there's no privacy and, and they're in decay and i've already um wrote a letter to council member Raman about this a while back and we need to improve our um, parks and our trails. We need to increase more restroom facilities. We have to because many people hike in our local mountains. So in our parks as well, we need to increase restroom facilities for everybody and maintain them. Thank you. And I yield the balance of my time. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hello. Caller, please state your name and which items items you'd like to speak on. Yes, for Kim, item number four. Okay, one minute. Go ahead. Um, I'm actually in favor for arming the Rangers. The city Rangers go through an actual LAPD post academy six months, just like the officers that are out there. Um, I don't think a lot of residents don't realize the other side of these actual Rangers and what they actually go through and endure in their jobs. I mean, these guys go through situations where they are dealing with a high increased number of transient activities, drugs, alcohol, homeless activities. And with the combination of uh, law enforcement and medical services being delayed and possibly defunded, when these Rangers need assistance, their assistance is being delayed um, via LAPD or whatnot. So I believe arming them is a good concept or idea, and it's something that they've been pitching for a while because it's a good concept. Now, I think with proper training and whatnot. Thank you, caller. That concludes your time. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hello? Yes, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. My name is Tyler, item four, and, and general comments. Okay, you have one minute for each. Go ahead. Yeah, so, I mean, you've heard it multiple times. You've read so many emails. But just to reiterate, point after point, the people do not need armed park rangers. Park rangers don't need guns to just maintain the park. It's ridiculous to even think that that's what we are trying to invest in. It's ridiculous to think that this city council, who is supposed to represent the people of the city, is trying to put guns in our parks. These are safe spaces where families, where anyone, housed or unhoused, can enjoy the greenery of Los Angeles. It is so few spaces of actual nature in this city that everyone can go to no matter what their class status is. And this city council, led by cop Joe Buscaino, is trying to bring guns into the situation. That is literally putting a target on the backs of black and brown people because, as we know, they are disproportionately affected and impacted by police violence. This is ridiculous, especially in the conversation of how park rangers are um, – you know, working and dealing with unhoused people in the park. Why don't we invest in resources? Why don't we invest in mental health resources and actual, like, things that can make the park safe for everyone, that can make the city a healthy place for everyone, no matter if they're housed or unhoused? That is what we need, and that is what the people are demanding. It's time that we stop acting like we're cowboys and just putting guns on anyone so what that they train they have the same training as LAPD. LAPD kills people. We are literally trying to stop that. You're proving the point why armed, why park rangers shouldn't be armed because we don't need LAPD cops in the park. Thank you, caller. That concludes your time. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Which items would you like to speak on? Hi, I'd like to speak on item number four. My name is Megan Elingbo, calling from the Los Feliz Neighborhood Council. Okay, you'll have but, one minute. Um, Go ahead. All right. Yes, as a neighborhood council, we we heard from our from our residents about this about this um, motion 
and we wrote a, we wrote a, a, community, a community impact statement opposing this motion. We have concerns about um, we have concerns about inequity, and we, we have concerns about this actually whether bringing safety to the parks. We I think our residents and we as a council discussed that we are concerned that this would actually be unsafe for rangers to carry guns. We are home to Griffith Park, one of the largest urban parks in the country, and also a huge tourist destination for people coming to Los Angeles. We um, we know from our former council member, David Rue, who talks about using parks as an immigrant family, that there are many language barriers and languages spoken in the park every day. So we also worry about the language barrier if there were to be an encounter with a police, a park ranger with a gun. Um, we worry that this would harm our communities of color who visit and use the park on a regular basis. And we have seen this past summer that our parks could use services for basic maintenance. Thank you, caller. That concludes your time. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hi, this is Robert. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Which items would you like to speak on? Uh, item number four. Okay, one minute. Go ahead. Yeah, I've kind of been listening to everyone speak. And uh, to me, it sounds like no one actually lives in the communities that uh, mostly minorities live in. Everyone keeps mentioning Griffith Park, Silver Lake, Echo Park. What about parks like Jim Gilliam and parks like Rancho La Cienega and parks like St. Andrews? What about parks that, um, where we live? Like someone said, I'm white. Well, I'm black. So what about the parks where most minorities live where I can't take my kids to those parks? Right? I understand Griffith Park. Yeah, Griffith Park might be safe. But what about those kind of parks? like Jim Gilliam, which is in the jungles, right? What about Parkside Legion, which the park rangers got shot at and had to run and had to wait 10, 20 minutes for a backup? What about those type of parks? Yeah, everyone keeps speaking about Griffith Park, but I just want to, you know, people like me who live in, you know, minority communities, we, we want the park rangers to come. Right? I can't take my kids down the street to the park because it's gang infested, you know, things like that. I keep talking about the unhoused community. Okay, what about the park, like, in the jungles? All right, so that's, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you, caller. That concludes your time. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hi, Call, please Carolyn. state your name and which item you'd like to speak on. Uh, Carolyn, item number four. Okay, you'll have one minute. Go ahead. Yes, hi. I was calling yet again to reiterate that um, I don't, the, the park rangers do not need guns. I mean, let's train them on de-escalation. Let's train them on other things. Let's use the money that we're going to have to need if the park rangers have guns for all the lawsuits that we have and use that money that we can anticipate needing in order to create more programs or have more park rangers or have more systems or, like, help um, the residents that are there to find permanent housing. Let's do something so that people can go to the park. Let's use this money that we can, without a doubt, forecasting if we have park rangers with guns that we're going to have to go into litigation with and, 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 and use it to have programs, programs that work, that are known to work. Um, I don't care how much training people say the park rangers will help with guns. It's about training that, that works so that will make our Thank you, caller. That concludes your time. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hi, my name is Sarah Moselle, and I'm calling about item four and to make a general public comment. Okay, you have one minute on each. Go ahead. Thank you. I'm a resident of CD13 and a daily visitor to our parks. I've never called to give public comment to the LA City Council before. I just found out about item four yesterday. It is appalling. The only time I've ever interacted with park rangers is when my car battery died. I called them. They kindly drove over and gave me a jump. I'm a white woman. I would have felt much less safe, though, calling them if they were armed. And my experience of park rangers is much different than the experiences of the majority of park users who look different than me and have less money than I do. Simply for those differences, they experience abuse, harassment, and violence from park rangers, all without those rangers having guns. I was shocked by the assumptions made by a previous caller that somehow arming rangers would make our parks cleaner, perhaps if we were arming them with garbage bags. Even the poorest park users are not inherently violent. Park users do not need to be violently intimidated into submission. 
someone being unhoused does not automatically mean that they are a violent drug user. Guns are not some kind of consequence-free, easy solution. I am strongly against the idea of arming park rangers. It's shocking. As so many people have commented today, it's just completely absurd. Clearly proposed by people with selfish motivations that are not in the public's best interest. It's not what the public wants. We've had massive ongoing demonstrations for over a year calling for less police and less state violence. It will not make me feel safer in our parks. More guns will simply not make our parks safer. I'll save my thanks for only the city council members who will oppose this action. I yield the rest of my time. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hello, this is Kenneth Mejia, and I'd like to speak on general public comment and item number four. Okay, you'll have one minute for each. Go ahead. So just like everyone mentioned, um, arming park rangers is a very bad idea. I mean, there are only about a little more than two dozen in the entire city of L.A., and we want to arm them. And, you know, like someone mentioned earlier, Paul Caretz supports this because and maybe some of you too who put this up because they want to be to, to get away from these financial liabilities of lawsuits well you know in the past five years we've spent 179 million dollars on use of force lawsuits and i don't think we want to do that um and for people who keep referencing the lapd as as the the quality bearer of, of handling a firearm um you know, just just a few uh, last month, um, a jury decided that an off-duty LAPD officer who who killed somebody at a Costco, you know, he had a gun. He was off-duty, and we now the city has to potentially pay seventeen million dollars for this person's mistakes. Just imagine, you know, just putting and arming these park rangers. I mean, just a two dozen of them. Uh, it's it's literally not going <laughs> to do any good. Um, we already have a, a police force that's you know close to nine thousand four hundred officers or more, and and it's always it's always been that way. So arming our, our our park rangers does does not really keep anyone safe. Instead, we should look and sort of try to find those issues that that cause crime. Um, you know, like item number one, focus on youth development. Put more money towards that. Put more money in the services and housing for our unhoused communities so that people don't have to live at the park. All right, that's my time. Thank you. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Hi, my name is Danny, and I'm calling to comment on um, number four and public comment. Okay, you'll have one minute for each. Go ahead. Thank you. Um, I'm calling, just like most people, to oppose arming our park rangers. Um, as someone who literally lives out of their car, um, I do not feel great about more more city um, employees with, with guns. And uh, I would much rather the city council that is supposed to represent me to consider proposing rent control ordinances or making it easier for people to stay house because I work full time, I work multiple jobs, and yet still here we are. So please, like y'all with whatever houses you have, whatever ownership you have, like you don't understand what your constituents are going through. Like we are enduring a pandemic. We are we are like it's impossible to own homes in Los Angeles and we're being pushed out. And so um I am the he like I am opposed to this, um, and uh, you know I think y'all are pretty fucking selfish and out of touch for even proposing this once again. So please stop wasting everyone's time and just do something about houselessness, rent control. Please, restrooms. I agree, restrooms and parks would be really beneficial for me, um, and I am one of your constituents and I vote. So there you have it. Uh, I yield the rest of my time. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Okay. 
Hi, um, can you hear me, please? Yes, I can. Which items would you like to speak on? Item four and uh, general public comment. Okay, my name is one Peggy minute for Lee each. Ken Go ahead. My name is Peggy Lee Kennedy with the Venice Justice Committee. And I am very opposed to arming our park rangers. Parks are where families go. The, the poorest people in our community really need parks. And a lot of them have families. I don't think you should be arming park rangers. And I really appreciate the previous caller, Danny. I really support her. Uh, absolutely, we should be spending money on more productive things. But if you have to do something different with the park rangers, how about de-escalation training? There is a park ranger in Venice who I have seen actually de-escalate situations. That park ranger has done excellent jobs at de-escalating crisis situations that were caused by other city agents, which is crazy. Why don't you use that park ranger's abilities as an example of what to do, not giving them guns. They can de-escalate, train them to de-escalate, train the cops, everybody to de-escalate and not escalate and harm people, which is what armed law enforcement does all the time. It's a very bad situation to give more guns out to anyone in our city. They're, they are violent. And police are trained to shoot criminals. So park rangers are in parks where there's families and people who don't have other alternatives. And okay, if they have a major mental health issue, should they be shot? No, that's what happens a lot of times when people have guns. It's not good. We have to oppose this. Please vote no. Thank you. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Next Caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Okay, we'll move on to the next caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Please state Hello? your name and which items you'd like to speak on. I'd like to speak on number four and general comment, please. Okay, one minute for each. Go ahead. <sighs> Yeah, I'm, my name is Joe, and I'm an OG Nalero from, from Northeast. Um, I don't know what world these people live in. I'm for arming the park rangers. I grew up in East Los. Um, I'm also now a high school coach, a uh, travel ball coach. I've had incidents where we're on the field, and I've had criminals or somebody being chased by cops running through parks with guns. Now, how do you take care of a person with a gun? You bring in another gun. We don't have time to wait for LAPD to come. They're not always going to come. And I don't know what world they live in. They keep I don't know if they live with the Brady Bunch, but keep saying certain parks. I, I invite everybody to come out to Handsome Dam on a Sunday to see what these park rangers go, go through. It's not easy to do what they do. Not only that, I invite you guys to download Citizens app. You guys are naive on what's going on around us. If you don't arm the proper pr people, the people that shouldn't have guns are going to have guns. They already have them anyways. That's all I got. Thank you. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Yeah, my name is Walker Foley, and I'd like to speak a uh, general comment on, uh, uh, on general comment and item number four. Okay, you have one minute for each. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, just like to respond to that last one. I've hiked Hanson Dam a number of times out in the valley and uh, have never thought to myself, gee, a gun would make this hike uh, safer and better. Uh, generally, I'm calling to oppose arming the park rangers. As many callers have already said, putting guns in the parks is basically throwing gasoline onto a fire. A gun 
can only escalate an already tense situation. It will lead to accidents. It will lead to deaths. It will lead to stray bullets in our parks where families, residents, unhoused and housed are just trying to recreate and get by. It will not lead to a safer environment for anyone. Policing uh, poverty has become the city's violent and lazy catch-all to dealing with the uncomfortable realities that this city creates for the people living here. We need investment in our communities, in affordable housing, in outreach and services to people struggling at the margin. We do not need more ordinance for costume cowboys. I yield the rest of my time. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which items you'd like to speak on. Yeah, uh, items four and uh, general public comment. Okay, you'll have one minute for each. Go ahead. All right, so as most callers at least say, I'm calling to oppose the measure um, for arming park rangers. Um, I've heard a couple people say, you know, that the callers speaking are naive and that they don't come from the world that you come from. You know, because you think you're, wherever you're from gives you superiority to speak on the issue. But I also come from this same area, you know, Jim Gillian Park and all those type of areas. And a gun is not going to solve a mental health crisis. Bullets don't put out fires. Water does. So if you want to see a change in the issues that we're facing, what you should do is fund the water elements like, I don't know, um, helping people get out of homelessness, funding mental health services, education, health care, et cetera, and so forth, so that, you know, we don't have to deal with the type of shit that we deal with. And I would also like to know, um, as the other callers did mention, where is this money going to come from? You know what I mean? Who's going to give it to you, the LAPPL? Because if they train with LAPD, what do you think they're going to do when they have a gun? Kill somebody. So I don't really see how that's the uh, answer to that. So no, this should not be tabled. None of that should happen at all. Thanks. I yield my time. Thank you, caller. Next caller, please state your name and which item you'd like to speak on. Yeah, I'd like to speak on uh, uh, arming the um, rangers. I don't know what you'll, item that is. You'll have, item you'll have four? one minute. Yeah, item four. You'll have one minute. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, I, I agree. They should arm the Rangers. We're living in a totally different world now. I mean, we're not living in the 1960s or 50s or even 70s. Um, you know, it's dangerous out there. We have a lot of cartels. They're armed, you know, um, and uh, the police need to protect themselves. Um, and we have too many guns out there in the wrong hands, not in the right hands. And uh, so I agree, you need to you need to arm the people to protect the people. So uh, that's my comment. Thank you. Thank you, caller. Mr. Chair, that concludes public comment. Thank you, Mr. King, and thank you to everyone who called in. Um, members, I'd like to take uh if without objection items one two three five and six on consent is there any objection to any of those taking those on consent seeing none uh mr villanueva can you call the roll on those items consent items certainly sir council member john lee aye council member mike bonin aye council member joe buscaino aye all those items are approved sir all right, uh, Mr. Villanueva, what, bring, what item does that bring us to? Item number four. Okay, can you read that, please? Certainly, sir. Item number four is a motion by Council, member, Council Members Buscaine and Cedillo relative to allowing park rangers to be armed while on duty for the protection of the public and for the safety of all law enforcement officers in the city. Uh, thank you. Uh, Mr. Uh, Councilmember Buscaino, seeing that this is your motion, if you'd like to the first one to discuss it. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. The motion before us, uh, members, was written uh, and introduced after much discussion, research, and developed with such care. 
the reality is this, we are all using and appreciating our, our parks more than ever during the pandemic. Our city's parks are safe havens, a place to congregate, play, relax, and exercise for many individuals and families during the pandemic at a time when many other public spaces were closed. However, the true safety of our parks and open spaces is dependent upon equipping the rangers who are charged with protecting them with the right tools to do so. Now, right now, certain situations presenting an immediate threat to human life or grave bodily injury in our city's parks require park rangers to contact LAPD and wait for their response. And in an emergency, every second matters. It's precious time and resources that we simply can't afford to lose when lives are at stake. Today, we have fewer LAPD sworn officers than at any time in the last decade, currently 9,473. At the same time, crime throughout the city is at an all-time high. Uh, homicides are up 15% from last year and up 47% from 2019. Shots fired up 22% from last year, up 54% from 2019. Victims shot up 18% from last year and up 50% from 2019. Our LAPD officers, as we all know, need to be available to respond uh, to the unprecedented number of crimes occurring um, outside our city parks, which means our rangers need the proper equipment to do their jobs. Park rangers receive the same training as LAPD officers, and they are faced with the same type of situations that call for the use of lethal weapons. Yet, they must rely on other peace officers who have the tools that they themselves are not allowed to carry. I don't see any logic here. No law enforcement officer ever wants to use their gun, contrary to what you heard in public comment. In fact, I'm proud and thankful that I've never had to use my gun in 15 years with the LAPD. But when, God forbid, that situation calls for the use of lethal force and we deprive our peace officers of the ability to carry a firearm, we're putting both them and the public in grave danger. I ask for your support moving forward on this motion. Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you, Councilman Busca. You know, do we have someone here from Reckon Parks and from, um, do we have, is it, do I see Chief Mosarelli here? Yes, uh, Beverly, it's uh, Mike Shaw, General Manager for Reckon Parks. I'm joined with by the Chief Mosarelli and um, my Chief of Staff, APD, is on the call. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. So I, I have a few questions for you guys regarding the motion. So are, you know, what type of training? I mean, Council Busca, you know, talked about the training. Maybe this is for chief. When you say the exact same training, so they go through the exact same training as LAPD officers? Yes, sir. Let me just start before that, that our rangers go through the exact same process, hiring process as an LAPD officer. They start off with backgrounds, going through a thorough background. Uh, going through psychological uh, testing, going through the, the written testing, going through a medical before they are even considered to go into the academy. Once they are approved by the city of Los Angeles and by the LA City Park Rangers, just as it would be true for LAPD, our rangers join the LAPD Academy and they are standing side by side with LAPD officers, LAX police officers, court police officers, school police officers, USC police officers, and these, they are trained during a six month period to become law enforcement officers where at the end of six months, there are state certified police officers recognized by post uh, and have complete police powers throughout the state, just as LAPD, San Diego Police Department, the San Francisco Police Department, the California Highway Patrol and, and hundreds of other agencies throughout the state. And Chief, what about like the surrounding communities or throughout the country? I Park rangers, let's just start with you know surrounding communities. Are they are they armed in you know communities that are within LA County, just outside of the city of Los Angeles? Yes, um, of course. Every law enforcement agency in the state is uh, is armed. Um, but I'd like to start off by saying, like even the the, the the Park Bureau for LA County sheriffs, you know, they have 177, 177 parks. We have 460. They have almost 200 law enforcement officers, armed law enforcement officers in their parks. I have 28 for 460 parks in the city of the size of Los Angeles. So um, 
We also uh, have um, eight uh, LAPD officers that are assigned to uh, parks uh, through an MOA between LAPD and uh, the LA City Park Rangers, where these LAPD officers work the parks, are assigned to do uh, assignments, patrols, and other things in the parks, and they're armed. What I'd also like to mention is the City of Los Angeles, many council offices in the City of Los Angeles hire contracted security that are armed with, with no training whatsoever. Our rangers go through about 200 hours of training on the use of the firearm, manipulations, how to fire it. We have uh, council offices that we do contract work, such as uh, Echo Park, we've had armed security there. We have armed security in Venice, an armed security officer watching a bathroom in Venice. We have armed security at Julian Park. We have we had armed security at South Park, but now because of the condition that that uh, park was in, LAPD, it has now a substation in that park because of all the crime that was occurring there. What, you know, I, I disagree with a lot of the public comments that came in today. Um, and, you know, honestly, unless you've been there and done that, you have no clue what it's like to have to approach a guy with a gun or have to approach a guy with a knife uh, on a radio call that's either generated through the public, that's either generated through the council office, and we respond there with, 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 without the tools necessary to, to defend ourselves. Now, you know, this, is, this, this, this uh, motion is for the protection of parks, but it also goes to the protection of our park rangers and to the families of our park rangers so that they can, they can come home every evening. You know, I've said to you, to, in 35 years, uh, I have now 38 years of law enforcement experience. I, th I sat through thousands and thousands of roll calls. And I can tell you this, that here at the Park Ranger Division and in LA, in the LA, when I was in the LAPD, LAPD officers don't go out with the impression that they want to hunt down certain individuals. That just doesn't happen, and that's just a myth. What they want to do is they want to go home safely. What they want to do is they want to protect the citizens uh, of Los Angeles, the people who live here, the people who work here, the people who come on vacation here, and the people that come just from other areas of the county to visit areas like Griffith Park, Venice Beach, Hanson Dam, and all the other parks. This is something that, uh, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll tell you this. You know, I look at a lot of uh, policies from the, from, from, from the different police departments across the nation before we even put this motion forward. I looked at San Francisco, San Diego, Detroit, New York, and by far the most stringent policy um, that, that I looked at was that of the LAPD. And I'm not being biased because I work there. I'm being biased. I, I'm being uh, uh, completely true on this because their, their shooting policy is so restrictive that people in, 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 in the private sector have more um, have uh, protected by the penal code have more uh, less responsibility with firearms than, than law enforcement officers do and what we need here is we need you know our rangers to be safe we need our rangers to go home every night and a lot of folks did mention that they called in and i will tell you this some of this calling in i feel was organized but there's a lot of if you look at the drop boxes there's thousands hundreds of of comments in the drop box for arming the park rangers that are for arming the park rangers. Um, we have to look at those and we have to take the consideration of those folks as well to ensure that they feel safe coming to our parks. And it, it was it was true that, uh, you know, a lot of mention was coming from Los Police and from the Griffith Park area, but you have to remember that we we patrol 460 parks from Northern San, San, San Fernando Valley to Southern Los Angeles, all the way down to the harbor and from East Los Angeles, all the way to the ocean. That's a lot of ground to cover. And I will say, I want to mention this, that, you know, there's a lot of good people that use our parks and it's nice to see those folks coming here. But we also have uh, people who are on parole, people who are on probation and gang members that come to our parks and visit our parks. And they don't leave their gang mentality or their parole mentality at home. They bring them with us. A perfect example of that was we got a call from a council office over in Elysian Park, which was based on a citizen call where our rangers went in there to, uh, to uh, uh, contact two individuals that were just drinking, drinking a beer in the park, not a big deal, but it was a radio call. And these are the things that we were expected to respond to. And our rangers show up to that call. And what happens before they even have a, 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 a enough information to, to gather these individuals' names and phone numbers, they're shot at and they were missed by inches. And then they ended up take, taking off running. And what do we do? We have to call LAPD for that. And it was a 10 minute response time. 
just to show up. Our rangers confront a lot of dangerous situations. They confront people lighting fires. They confront people using firearms. The park rangers' response time for, for our regional parks is less than two minutes. The, the response time, and, and, and I'm not knocking down LAPD in any manner. They're a huge organization, a great organization, but they're understaffed and they're busy. Their response time to an emergency call is anywhere between five and seven minutes. That's a long time for our rangers to be waiting for a backup. And look, there's a lot of law enforcement agencies across the state, across the county, various cities across the state, across the country that have never, ever had an officer involved shooting, many of them. However, they don't arm their officers just so that officers can go out out there and and misuse a firearm or lack of training in it. They go out there because at any minute a situation can change. And when that happens, we have to have our rangers feeling safe enough to be able to approach situations for that safe, they're safe for their for their partners. There's a lot of things that people just don't realize what law enforcement, whether it be in a park, whether it be in an airport, an airport or at a, at, a, at a port, they don't understand the situations that law enforcement officers are dealing with every single day. And I can tell you this, 38 years of service, sir, I've lost, what, I've lost 56 friends from the LAPD. 11 of those people were good friends of mine, good friends of mine, and they didn't get to go home. I would certainly have to have my rangers not go home because they didn't have the tools to do the job that they have to do. So our rangers are well-trained. They're well-trained on policy. They're in an academy for six months. And when they graduate from that academy, they have the same credentials as a law enforcement officer from LAPD, with the exception that they don't have the, uh, a weapon to carry on their site. They have all the other tools that are needed. They have the taser, the batons and everything else. So. Yeah. So thanks, Chief. Like, have you seen, I mean, I know there's an uptick in crime throughout the city of Los Angeles. What, what would you say? I have a snapshot of six months uh, in some of our city parks. Um, but have, and this is from January 2020 to June 2020. And I'll just use an example of um, uh, Gilbert Lindsay Park, where we had seven homicides, eight rapes, 115 assaults with deadly weapons. 57 robberies, 44 shootings, and 82 weapons confiscated or or found. Do you, have the numbers gone up in recent times? Well, um, violent crime is way up. And, and I can, you know, we, we've had a, a shooting at Dead Parks just recently, a homicide. We had another shooting just yesterday over at Lincoln Park. Um, you know, we, we've had shootings in Venice. We've had uh, shootings in um, in uh, Han the Hanson Dam area. I mean, you know, when 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 they when they reflect on crime for the city, you know, being a, a up you know thirty percent in thirty one percent in violent crime, you know, those crimes, some of those crimes, a lot of those crimes are committed in the in the parks. And you know, look at an area where like MacArthur Park. You know, I don't even want to send my rangers down there to do any enforcement because of what, what goes on in and around that park. The same thing, you know, before we, we cleaned up Echo Park, the same, you know, it was the same thing there. Yes, crime is up. Yes, we've had shootings here. We've had many. And our park staff, the park staff that goes to work and works in these parks, that mow our lawns, that clean the restrooms, that uh, maintain the trees, I get calls from them every single day because they're in fear because... Of, the, of a shooting that may have occurred or um, or uh, an incident that occurred where they were assaulted with a deadly weapon, which, you know, we've had, you know, just in the last month, we had three of those. Um, over at uh, Alden Sutton Park, I mean, we had a huge event over in that park over the weekend. That's a great park and there's a lot of good people that- right. So Chief, you're, would you say that the crime is up though? Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. So, okay, let me, let me, uh, we have some, um, some of my uh, other council members would like to ask questions. Councilmember Bonin. Thank you uh, very much. Um, uh, where to begin? Um, yeah, the longer I'm on the council, sometimes I feel like I'm a, a character in a Lewis Carroll novel. Lewis Carroll novel. I've gone through the looking glass. Um, I, I, a, a year ago, the 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 overwhelming message from uh, uh, most of uh, elected officialdom in the city of Los Angeles, 
granted some exceptions in this meeting, uh, was that we need to reimagine public safety, that we need to get uh, armed law enforcement out of more and more aspects of our lives. Uh, we talked very specifically at council about a number of different ways that that, that can happen. Uh, and this feels like it is completely opposite to, to that dynamic and to that impulse and to what I certainly uh, felt was a, a, a commitment by the, the vast majority uh, of uh, the, the members of, of LA city government. And um, uh, I, I don't think that most people thought that when, when we talked about getting uh, armed police officers out of certain aspects of, of daily life in Los Angeles, that that meant that we would start arming other people to, to, to deal with those issues. Uh, so this is just a, a bit of a strange one to me. And you know, for me, I guess there's a lot of analogies uh, or comparisons, correlations you can make uh, between different places. Uh, and one that, 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 that strikes me, because when we talk about parks, we so often talk about uh, uh, kids, is LAUSD. Uh, LAUSD has gone in the opposite direction. Uh, LAUSD has uh, 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 re reduced their investment in armed law enforcement, and they have put a lot of money in reimagining public safety within LAUSD. Uh, they put a lot of money into, in, into climate coaches, people who are uh, invested, uh, particularly in, in schools with a large uh, uh, black population, uh, in in, in, in wellness of the person and wellness of the community. And I think that's the direction that, that we thought, uh, or that I thought that, that Los Angeles should be moving in and one I still hope will be moving in. Um, we, um, I, I'm, I'm struck by the, the argument that we, we need to arm the, the Rangers because otherwise they have to uh, call the cops and then they have to wait. Well, that's, that, that, that's true. Um, but so does everybody else. Um, uh, if, 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 if having to call the cops uh, is a justification for someone being armed, then, you know, as one of the callers said earlier, um, are we going to then, you know, next month start talking about arming uh, LADOT officers? Are we going to start talking about arming parking attendants? Uh, are we going to start uh, talking about arming librarians? Uh, there's certainly incidences in our libraries, uh, and the librarians have to call officers. The other thing I'm struck by is just how few rangers there are in the city of Los Angeles. There's finally more than there have been before, uh, but th but there aren't very many uh, uh, rangers in the city of Los Angeles. So um, uh, in, in most situations, we're not impacting anything. Uh, if, if, if we're going to buy this portrait of, of our parks as, as, uh, as, as uh, uh, crime plague dens of iniquity and in, in, in shooting galleries, uh, then if we don't have enough park, uh, park rangers, then you know, sh should we start talking about arming our, our recreation assistants? Or should we allow uh, people who come into to the parks? Should we find a way to have concealed carry permits? Uh, for for kids coming in and going to the, the the skate park at Venice Beach, I just I just think we're on a a, a, a very weird uh, slope uh, here, and um, you know it's not surprising that I I, I would differ uh, from from the other members of the committee on this one, uh, but but I am a, a a very strong no vote on this one. I think it's uh, the opposite of the direction that Los Angeles needs to be moving in. Um, I also think that you know there's there's a lot of talk about the 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 crime stats and and we make it look as if uh, uh, crime is going up. Um, uh, numbers from just a few months ago, the last I sort of delved in deeply, uh, in year to date, there were actually fewer crimes uh, uh, in Los Angeles. That was back uh, over the summer. Uh, and uh, uh, while homicides in Los Angeles had been up uh, a little bit statistically, they had been not up. Uh, dr uh, uh, dramatically. Um, uh, I, I also think that, that we have a tendency here in Los Angeles that whenever there is an increase in crime is to respond with the idea that that means more cops uh, are necessary, that that means uh, more armed personnel, more armed enforcement is necessary. Uh, and we, we almost never go to what is a more holistic 
more effective and, and, and most likely less expensive solution to addressing crime, which is get it at the root. Do this Measure J style. Uh, if we think crime is going up in the city of Los Angeles, then we need to be doubling down on housing and on jobs and and, and on health care and on services in making communities and, 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 and people wealth. And that's the way I prefer to go. So I'm a no vote. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Bonin. Councilmember Buscano, do you have anything else to add? Well, quick to the chief. Um, so it's my understanding that the um, the park rangers, they are trained with LAPD Academy um, they're also, uh, they have the ability to carry their firearm off duty, correct? That's correct, sir. So when they check in to work, they have to secure their firearm in a locker, correct? They cannot bring their firearm on the, uh, on, on, on park property. And back to Mr. Lee's uh, chairman's question of the park of the Rangers in the state of California, are we, is it my understanding, uh, the LA park Rangers are maybe the only park rangers that are not able to carry their firearm on duty? We work very, few. yeah, we work very closely with the uh, park rangers from the uh, Mount Security, which is, uh, we work with them every day, they're armed. Um, and uh, state and federal uh, rangers uh, that patrol state parks are armed. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chair. And thank you, uh, Councilmember Buscani, you know, and, you know, I, I hear, Arguments and I, I agree with uh, some of the arguments of trying to, you know, think about how we can move forward as a city, as you know, law enforcement. I'm a big believer in youth programs, and you know, getting funds there. I've always been a big supporter of them. I've seen them work miracles in in my district, and and moving funds there. Uh, I'm sorry, Councilman Bonnie, did you have another? Your hand is still up. Did you have another statement before we? Uh, no, no, although I often reflexively uh, press my button in council when Joe speaks, my hand was, is, is, <laughs> is, is, is down. Okay. Thank you, Councilman Bonin. It's natural. Yeah. So, you know, I, I agree with you, Councilman Bonin, that that is something, but, you know, our, our park rangers are not park enforcement. Uh, our park rangers are not librarians. They are post certified. Yes, I agree with you. Overall, crimes are down. People are at home, but violent crimes are up. So I, you know, I think some of those statistics can be a little misleading. Um, you know, this is something where I, I, you know, I heard some of the statements from the callers. I don't think, you know, I, I've known Councilmember Buscano for many, many years. I, I don't think, you know, some of the statements of him and the reason for this motion are fair. Uh, I think that you know we are all. The three of us are looking to, you know, make sure that we protect the citizens of Los Angeles, uh, you know, as as much as we can. Um, you know, this item, while I, you know, think that we need to try to think about different things, I think our we've seen the uptick in crime at, at our parks, and our park rangers are have the, received the same type of training. And I and I vote that we move that we move this item forward. Uh, Mr. Villanueva, can you take a roll call on this item certainly mr chair council member john lee aye council member mike bonin uh no council member joe buscaino yes you have two yes and one no uh the item passes sir thank you mr villanueva uh are there any other items to consider uh just to put on record uh, for those who missed it uh, item seven was continue to a date to be determined. But other than that, the desk is clear, sir. Thank you very much. Councilmember Bonin, Councilmember Buscan, you know, thank you both for attending this today's meeting and for your comments. Uh, this meeting is now adjourned.